Hello everybody, uh, this is Red Creeper here, and today I'm going to be showing you what I like to call exploding non-exploding TNT. Now, um, first I'm going to show you it with this off. Just a normal TNT explosion. Boring. So if I fix this up and then use my method. All right. So now if I use my method and I start this back up. By the way, guys, this is just a really fast clock, set lock, redstone block, zero destroy. As far as I know, it's the fastest clock ever. Um, my way, it still works, um, when there's TNT around it, it still sets that off. For the most part. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But it's too slow, it just still has a sound. And you can make it only in certain areas for like an adventure map. These poles are annoying me. Anyway, so that's pretty simple, so I'll show you how it works as soon as I destroy this completely. Close enough. Anyway, um, that's so what this is doing, like I showed you, it just has a really fast clock, and it's test for, test, t t test for, um, entities type prime TNT. Um, if it finds it, then I'm just using the new execute command. Execute any mob that is a prime TNT, that's where it's doing the command. I don't know, it's completely pointless. Anyway, and then it's setting the block to a redstone block and then back to air. That is what makes it ignite the blocks around it. You can see there was some block for a split second there. Um, and then I figured out the perfect amount of delay. And then it, another execute, it does particle, large explode, relative to it, um, two out, two up, and two out, at a speed of 0 0.01, and plays 100 of them. Yeah. Um, then it kills the prime TNT so that it doesn't just explode normally. And it does another execute. It, it executes all prime TNT. That's why you see how multiple ones off at different times. They'll both Explode at the same time. It's actually kind of cool if you think about it. Anyway, any mob that is from TNT, so it's a little, it's a little play sound, random dot explode at A. Really, it should be at P, I guess, or oh, radius. Within a radius of, let's say, 10. And then it just increases the volume and pitch. If you don't set the pitch, it sounds really low and weird. Let me show you. I like it higher, personally. Of course, you can change that because I can't tell you what to do. And then one last execute for the prime TNT. Again, squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Fill. If I haven't showed you, Phil, I'll explode it real quick. Yes, I'll explode it real quick. Um, coordinate 1, coordinate 2, coordinate 3, and then... Well... There. X1, Y1, Z1. X2, Y2, Z2. That means coordinates 
from coordinates one to coordinates two, it fills whatever it is, whatever block with whatever data value usually two or zero. Old block handling that's destroy or replace or whatever, and then data tag. Um, I have it set to air and destroy. Destroy gives the cool particles. Oh god, that activated too much. Not really. But anyway, yeah, that's what gives it the particles. This little thing right here. Zero, destroy. And that's pretty much it. Um, like I say, you can make it only test for within a certain area, or it only does the fill if it's within a certain area, within a radius of 20. I don't know how far 20 is, but whatever. Um, so if you do this, then it will not actually destroy anything outside of 20 blocks. Watch this be inside of 20 blocks. No. If it's outside of the 20 block radius, it will not destroy anything. So that's a cool way to disable TNT. And then... But when you're within this... Whatever I said block radius, it still works fine. Or you can have a radius and have the new... Um, you can have... Just for example, oh, I'm not sure if I've showed you this before. At E, that is at entity, so any entity. Anyway, you can have X1, 0, 0, 0, X, Y, Z are automatic. Then the next area, the next number is going to be radius if you don't specify it. But we're going to do, I always get this backwards. Yeah, backwards is, anyway. X D no D X equals one D Y equals one and D Z equals one um slash tell hi. It's not gonna tell anyone hi. But if I summon a mob summon creeper at zero zero actually let's do it one zero one no i'm gonna have to have that zero one zero oh it's outside of the world but um anyway um yeah dx i'm not sure if it's that or xd Try putting the D before and after, and just mess around with that. But anyway, you can use that, and it will only tell mobs within that rectangular or square area. It will only tell them, hi. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much how you make the exploding TNT. That's it. It's really simple. I was just messing around with this, um, because I needed it for something, and just found this. It's a really simple way. I also might have taught you something with the really fast clock. So guys, thank you for watching. If this helped you, or you enjoyed it, or anything besides the negative, uh, leave a like. Um, if you really, really liked it, then you can leave a subscribe, it's free, and once again, thanks for watching, have a nice day.